All right, let's take a look at part three of our assignments here. I'm gonna open these as previews so we don't have, ooh, that's way too, oops, sorry there. Resize that. There we go, that's good enough. Um, yeah, I like this. I think we have a really strong, uh, really strong start. Um, I like the idea of, you know, sort of balancing this gradient um, with uh, the, the sort of color palette that you have. I think it works well. Um, I might, I'm just pausing because I'm thinking about um, arranging this. Um, you don't necessarily, I mean, you don't have to do it centered. Um, but I like ready for a new adventure. I might even drop new down and see how that spaces out. Um, you know, centering it might not work. Um, if you're going to have it, maybe see how it works on one line. Because again, keep in mind, there's going to be, what, three by four? So you're going to be rather large. Um, so, you know, you don't be afraid to give your, your things, you know, some breathing room, um, all of your elements. Because uh, again, these are going to print rather large uh, in theory. Um, you know, so keep in mind, like if you take up a third of your, not that this is, but if you take up a third of your space with, you know, a line of text, like that's going to be a third of like this huge, huge space, right? Um, so I might rearrange it, see if it works well on one line, or even see if this works on one line, um, since it's much smaller, or two lines, um, just to sort of give this a little bit more breathing room, um, or even go with a right justified. So you have your left justified here and a right justified to give that you know, a little sense of movement of going from left to right, right to left, um, et cetera. But I, I, I like this, um, uh, I like where the top part is going. Uh, for the bottom, uh, I might make this space, if it's just um, one sort of black shape, um, I might make it a little bit thicker. Um, definitely, you know, if you want that clear separation between these two, you know, you have that, um, Similarity with the uh, with the colors, so you have that. Uh, why am I blanking? That relation between the colors already. Um, so I would push this maybe a little bit more. Um, you know, even if you were to, I don't know if it would work or not, but even if you made this much wider, um, and you could even put this line on one, this tag rather on one line in white. Um, or, a, you know, a color from this palette. So you have this, you know, ready for a new adventure, give this some breathing room. This would give you some room to maybe play around with making this a little more dynamic. Um, and then having that gear up with origin skincare for men, um, you know, in this uh, darker space. So if you made that a bit wider. Um, and then I would say lastly, um, you know, again, you can give this a little bit of breathing room. You know, again, this is, you know, literally this is a third, give or take of your, of your piece. So it's going to be a lot. Um, you, know, you could probably make this origins look a little bit smaller, maybe tuck it a little more bottom left, um, and then that could give a little bit more breathing room for these pieces. And again, sort of more tuck it bottom right. Uh, and then lastly, I would say that, you know, make sure that you don't have a stroke um, on these. Um, so it sort of distorts your logo and distorts your graphics. Uh, so make sure that you, I would take off the stroke. Um, if you wanted to have, um, you know, sort of a drop shadow-ish kind of thing for this, um, for this, uh, these objects, uh, if that's where you're kind of going for, we can work on that. Um, there's ways we can create sort of one solid shape behind all of these to sort of give it, um, you know, one sort of solid background, or we can uh, add some shadow and things like that. But I would take off a stroke, definitely it's uh, a little bit visually distracting um, with the products and definitely the logo, um, I would remove it um, for sure because that's sort of like changing the logo. Uh, if you wanted to make it, change the color, if you wanted to make it just a solid black logo, um, or something like that, or again, something from the color palette, that's totally fine. Um, but I think uh, overall, a really good start with this. All right. Uh, yeah, again, a really strong start. Um, I like your imagery. I think it works well with what you have, the products that you have. Um, depending, well, we'll get, we can get to that when we get to it, but so to be confident, be comfortable, be clean. Um, I really like, um, I might even move this so it's further up, um, up in the top left corner. Um, it might give you a little bit more space, uh, to really push that, you know, push the space in between each line, um, to give them more breathing room. 
Um, and I might try a different font, maybe a stronger font uh, for that. Um, you know, don't go plain, but something a little bit more heavy, a little bit more bold, uh, something like that with this, you know, such a bold statement, make it, you know, a bold font. Um, but definitely give it a little bit more breathing room. Um, and then I would definitely make this logo smaller. Um, and you could even, so this is where I was going to go. Your products kind of look like they're floating here or they're kind of falling off the edge of this cliff. Um, it almost even looks like the soap is kind of erasing this. Um, so if you wanted to have, um, I'm trying to think of how to sort of rearrange that text uh, with the new skin soap. Um, you could even have, you know, uh, even drop the with the and even have like new skincare for men. Um, you know, I kind of try to simplify that a little bit. If that would be on one or two lines up here, and then you could maybe even place the Origins logo here, bottom left, and then have these two products, um, these two products within this shape. So they're a, like a little bit more grounded. Um, because right now, again, when they're in this sort of negative space, they kind of look like that they're being tossed off the mountain or they're kind of falling. So I might swap these two, um, you know, and have your logo sort of tucked bottom left and then have your products tucked bottom right. And you could even have, you know, less of an overlap so you're not covering the actual product name completely. But if you had like the soap here and then the, the bottle here, um, you know, something like that. But I think, uh, I think overall this is a really strong design um, has potential to be, you know, super, super strong idea. JPEG. All right. I really, uh, okay, so I really like the, um, uh, I like the sort of the message of this ad, the, so the dear man, did you know that the skin is the biggest organ on your body? Yes, the biggest. Um, so I think it's really good. I think it's tongue in cheek. I think it's not inappropriate. Um, I think it works really well. Um, I think that with that other line that we promise, uh, healthy skin is more impressive. Um, I feel like, um, it's a little bit wordy, maybe try to simplify. Um, I'm trying to think. So even if you did like, you know, dear men, you know, the biggest organ on your body is the skin or just even make it a statement rather than a question and then have like, yes, the biggest, and then have your, um, your third line that we promise healthy skin is more impressive. Um, I think that works really well. Um, I think some of the issues we have here, um, you know, uh, I, I think is the, the background is a little bit, um, distracting. Um, I think visually, I'm like you have a lot going on, and then you have your um, your text on top of it in similar colors. I think you know can be is, is pretty visually distracting. Um, so even if you wanted to do, I don't know how well it would work to block it off. Like if you, oh, that may or may not work. Um, but if you had like sort of blocks, and then had you know just the product. Hey, I don't think that's going to work as I'm saying it out loud. We just have a product on this background. Um, or even if you drop the opacity of your background, um, you know, that could work to, to make your text stand out a little bit more uh, and use like a white text. Um, and even if you had like the Dear Men, this font, and then had this, you know, these are still a little bit more bold, but have these be more of a bold font so they, so they stand out more. And again, you know, popping the Origins logo, um, you know, a little bit more bottom, right you can make that a lot smaller um and then that might open up room to even drop put this on two lines either next to it on the right um and then give the products a little bit more breathing room um you know so you, if you had dear men you know the skin is the biggest organ on your body and you can have that be on one line and then have you know maybe arrange the product so you have like yes the biggest to give a sort of a more visual pause, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think the main issue, I like your messaging. Um, I think it works really well. I think, you know, some size sizing with the logo would help. Uh, I think the main issue is the background, um, really, uh, in, in, in this case, uh, is, is a little bit distracting. So I think there's some things we could do. You could play around with the opacity, um, using some graphic elements, um, things like that, um, to, to help sort of the, the text work with this background. 
for some reason. So let's open up. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think that I think that your background works really well. Um, I think your your uh, your headline works really well. I think maybe even just centering centering the text. Um, I feel that sometimes it's a no no. Um, but even if you did a full justify, so it was more of an area type, uh, and this is a bit more even across the top, you can maybe even make it a touch smaller to give it a little bit more breathing room around your border. Um, I think the background works really well. Uh, what I was trying to do there was even select these four products and bring them up a little bit more um, so that they're not as covered with the back with the foreground here. Uh, maybe even make them a little bit larger. Um, you know, not a ton, but maybe make them a little bit larger and bring them up a little bit. Um, and then I would either try one or two things with the logo, either making it smaller so it doesn't overlap this pumpkin, or putting it in the bottom, um, in the bottom right, and seeing if, depending on the size, uh, seeing if it can kind of fit in this space here. Um, the last thing that's somewhat minor um, is to make sure that we're targeting men specifically in this. So even like the sort of pumpkin spice kind of thing, um, you know, if you sort of tongue in cheek, be, be, you know, aim towards men. Um, not gonna lie, I don't mind a pumpkin spice latte once in a while. Um, so if you had, you know, I'm trying to think, uh, but even if you had spice, spice up the men in your life for the holidays, it's really worried that you get the idea. So if you wanted to sort of target it towards, um, you know, Targeted towards a partner, uh, in that case, um, or uh, you know, just just in general, um, you know, maybe potentially work with uh, you know work with the target audience. You know, again, I know it's sort of more traditional. Uh, I hate to use that word, but um, you know, the you know a tough market to break into with with skincare products still. Um, but I think that overall, your design works really really well. Um, I think this idea isn't too bad. Um, I think that there's um, maybe a, maybe a little bit too much um, negative space happening here. Um, I would, um, unless they've actually used this in print somewhere, I would stay away from using the established uh, unless you pulled this from somewhere because um, uh, it's sort of technically changing the logo if you're making that addition. Um, so I would uh, I would potentially tuck this more bottom left, um, maybe make these a little bit bigger. Um, definitely make this element a little bit bigger. I sort of see what you're doing with like the sort of clean look, even if you wanted to have it, you know, something like this kind of element in the top corner. Oops, sorry, uh, or in this top corner, so it's more, um, you know, sort of coming from right to left and a little bit down rather than just kind of look like placed um, and then this could free up i would make this a little bit bigger even if you kept the soap about the same size but make you know the text a little bit larger but basically you know how you have a start with having a design be visually balanced well uh symmetrically and asymmetrically but if you had this sort of asymmetrical balance along with symmetrical balance and having this movement you almost have you, know, you create this sort of like s curve sort of with all of these blocks of elements, I think if you really push that a little more um, and we're a little bit more um, aware of uh, placement and direction um, and a little bit more deliberate with that, I think this design could go a really long way. Let's see, I'm forgetting to move some images if I could bring this in the extra but, um, yeah, not a bad start. I'm gonna open this. Oops, open this in Illustrator. See what's. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Close. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna really see much. So we'll just close that up, and then I'll do. Oops, I'll do the preview instead. Um. So with the preview, it's a little bit hard to see. Um. But again, I think you have a strong. Uh, a fairly strong start. Um, with images, you just want to make sure you're you're paying attention to that bleed. Uh, you know, you're within that safe area, but unless you want to, if you're deliberately want to have a white border, um, you want to make sure that that border is is delivered here. I'm not really sure what this element is. Um, um, if you just wanted to have sort of like a fade or something, but you want to make sure that it at least matches uh, the edge without looking at your actual Illustrator file, it's hard to tell. We can look at that in class. Um, 
But I think what's really just kind of missing here is some sort of headline or some sort of tag, some sort of, you know, a, a, a attention getter for, I hate using that term, but, but something like that. So if you had, um, you know, I like the image. I think it's a, it's a pretty strong image. Um, you know, you could have even something clean up with, you know, origin skincare, you know, origins for men or something like that. Um, rather than just having this, you know, sort of, um, you know, blocky kind of placed um, space um, and then having the products maybe, you know, swap these around again, have the logo be bottom left, bottom right, and then have the products be opposite of that. Even if you had the products here, bottom right, logo bottom left, and then you could have, you know, your, you know, whatever your tagline or even across the top or, or top, top right. You could have, you know, clean up with origins for men or something like that. Um, so I think a little bit of arrangement, um, arrangement here can go a long way. So you do have a strong visual. Um, so I think, you know, how you choose to arrange your, um, your potential headline uh, and your products uh, could really, really make this work very well. Yeah, I see another sort of very negative space, uh, free space um, working here. Uh, I would make sure that you're using the images that I provided. Um, so I think, again, I don't know what products these are for the soap, uh, but yeah, definitely make sure that you're using the products, um, the products that, um, uh, that, are, that are included in the, uh, the sort of package that I have for the assignment. Uh, make sure that you're not, you're definitely distorting the logo. Make sure that you're not distorting the logo. In this case, you can copy and paste this because it's a vector file. Um, I might make this, you know, a little bit smaller. And again, I, I know I say this for a bunch, but if you, you know, put it bottom, bottom left or right, um, depending on how it works, um, you know, I think, I think that this kind of works pretty well. Um, I might, um, like this, I think is balanced fairly well. Um, I might play around with this and have this element even, you know, come to like here-ish to give it a little bit of asymmetrical balance and then move this to the top. So you have the, it's your skin, you know, dry, red, itchy, and then you have, you know, a few product shots here, and then you could have meet your skin's new best friend um, here uh, across the bottom and then have your origins uh, again, you know, don't you'll forget the target audience for this as well. Um, and just, you know, using the, the appropriate product shots. Um, again, I think, you know, some rearrangement. I like the open space that you have going on. I think giving this a little bit more breathing room since you have a lot of breathing room uh, in general. Um, I think some, some arrangements to really play with that negative space that works well, um, you know, could, could push this. All right. So with our preview, uh, and I'll mention this in class too, but for future reference, when we're going to export these as a JPEG, make sure that you're clicking um, uh, to use your um, uh, well, mind, use your artboards so that we don't get all of this in the negative space there or in the free space rather. Um, I think this works really well. Um, old Spice is old news. Come back to your origins. I like that. Um, I think that works pretty well. Um, I might, um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know that I would directly reference a competitor. Um, that could be sort of like hit or miss, but I think generally you don't really want to reference a competitor, but if you could say, you know, something like ditch the old news, um, and had sort of a reference to Old Spice, even if with the way you did Origins here, if you found, you know, a font or something that was similar to the Old Spice fonts, you could have your, you know, your sort of link at it, I guess. Um, but I think, you know, something like that, maybe maybe changing, um, changing that a little bit so there's not a direct reference to Old Spice. Um, and maybe, you know, again, finding that font. So if you had like Old News, uh, I just lost it, or like ditch the old news, or something like that. Come back to your origins, or come to yeah, something like that. Um, but if you had that sort of you know bookend of you know different fonts, or using the you know using the um, uh, the product font, basically, could work really well. 
Um, and then I, I don't mind this. Our variety of skincare products will help you feel your best throughout your day. Um, I think that works really well. Um, you know, again, I might give this a little bit more breathing room, maybe make this a little bit smaller. Uh, I like the placement. Um, potentially even lose, you know, this is a lot of product. Um, it gets a little bit busy. Um, so I might lose maybe one, um, maybe even like lose this guy and then you can make these two or three even a little bit bigger. Um, but I think it's a little bit busy with the product shots. Um, and then I might play around with here, um, dropping this photo down a little bit more and then playing with that, that gradient, making, maybe making, uh, making it, uh, um, Oh, it's sort of a wider gradient, so there's a lot more of a feather going, you know, transitional feather going from this color to the image. Um, I think it worked really well for this, but overall, I think it's a super solid start.